Hey guys, back here with another video from Hollywood Editing Mentor, and today I'm talking about remote workflows, remote systems. Uh, you know, a lot of assistant editors and editors are currently working from home right now due to this pandemic, and some systems have been set in place, some new technology has been developed that allows us to do just that, which is pretty neat. So today I'm just gonna walk you through it, show you what it's all about. Uh, I'm not gonna get into my desk setup though. Uh, there's a video just for that, uh, that shows you uh, what I use, equipment that I use, and so you can find the link to that video in the description below. Uh, but for now, we're going to talk about the technology, the systems that allow us to work from home. So let's check it out. All right, so what you're looking at now is my workstation's desktop uh, here at home. This is the computer that I'm using at home. Uh, it is a PC. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's Windows 10. Um, and this is what I use now. The system is to connect to that remote system that's sitting you know, in an office somewhere in LA. That system has the Avid software that I'll use to edit. Um, it has the Nexus server where I'll, with all the media. So at home, I don't have any media and I don't have the Avid software. I just use um, this computer at home to control that remote system. So here we have this uh, app, this software called Leo Stream Connect. And this is what I'll use. This will allow me to connect to that remote system. I'll double click on it. So here it is. Now you, what you're looking at now is a completely different computer. This is the computer, the remote computer. Um, like I said, that, that's uh, you know, in another building. Uh, and, but I'm able to look at it and I'm able to control it with uh, my computer at home. It is also a, a PC. Um, but you know, think of it like a, like a team viewer. So basically, it's like if you were at the office, you, were, you would come in and, and connect to the Nexus and then open up Avid. It's a, the, the same idea. I'm gonna do just that. Um, and as you can see, uh, we're using uh, Avid uh, 2018. Uh, let me know what version you're using on your show. Very interested to hear uh, uh, which version of Avid you're using. All right, so we got uh, Avid, Avid opened up here, good old Avid, and I'm not gonna, uh, show you much um, because I, I am you know currently working on a show and, and so I don't want to show you the project uh, window or anything like that but as you can see it's it's just it's just avid it's just it says if I had this um, if you're at the office uh, or at home um, it's, it feels the same looks the same um, there's nothing really different about it um, uh, it's pretty neat it's pretty great you know that is uh, the, the the editing part like and so for example if I go up here click on this now you're i'm back to the the computer at home and the next thing is then of course of course having remote sessions um we do that uh using evercast uh, it's based think of it like, kind of like a fancy zoom i guess uh where we come into this virtual room um uh, and we're able to see the output from my avid timeline so not the timeline itself but the output right um, and so what we do to, 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 to be able to see that is we use this uh, software called Splashtop and that'll connect us now to a different computer. I know, I know, it gets, it gets a little crazy. Uh, this is yet another computer that, uh, as you can see, it's a Mac, Mac computer, this time it's a Mac, um, that hosts this uh, EBS software. This software uh, connects the output from my avid timeline uh, and sends it to, um, to Evercast, you would confirm that you're getting a signal because you would see the output of your, of your avid timeline, you would see it here, uh, and then you would hit here, start streaming, and that would stream the signal to Evercast, and then we all go into this uh, virtual Evercast room, and there we can watch the cut. You know, you, it's like, kind of like Zoom, I mean, you just see kind of, you know, people who have webcams, you can see them, and you can communicate, uh, live and, 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 and we can, um, you know, interact. And, and so basically in a session, you know, I'll get notes. Um, I'll make the changes, say, in Avid. They won't see the actual timeline, um, but I'll make the changes and then, you know, I'll go back and we'll, we'll review them. And, and that's how the process is. Um, you know, it, obviously there's nothing like being able to work together or being sit in the, in the same room together. Can't do that now. This is the next best thing. Um, but it, 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 it works great. It works great. Uh, I, I love it. Um, and so that is that is that is kind of like you know the 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 kind of like a quick tour 
of how this system works, how it, how it all works. I know it can be, you know, it's hard to kind of wrap your head around it in the beginning, but, uh, you know, it's not that complicated. Um, and, and it's great that we're able to do this now. Uh, I don't know what the future of post is. A lot of people ask me, what do you think is going to happen? I don't know. I mean, you know, it's great that we can work from home. Uh, but like I said, I don't think there's anything better than being able to collaborate with uh, creatives, uh, other creatives uh, in an office. Uh, if we could maybe have this hybrid kind of uh, version where we say do work at home during dailies, cut dailies at home, and then just go in for sessions, you know, so do a split, you know, between working from home and working at the office, that'd be great. Um, but who knows what's going to happen? Uh, all I know that right now, this is what we're using, and, it, and, it's, and it's great that we can keep working. The, these systems allow us to do just that. So, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, it's a little quick tour of this remote workflow, these remote systems that are set in place, at least on, uh, on the show that I'm working on. Uh, what are you working on? What's your experience been like? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what, you're, what you think. Uh, and definitely want to hear from you and also don't forget to subscribe to the Hollywood editing mentor YouTube channel I got a lot more informative videos and tutorials coming up. So hit that bell get notified when I upload more informative content All right guys, don't forget to visit hollywoodeditingmentor.com. Thanks again for watching. My name is Joaquin Elizondo the creator of the Hollywood editing mentor program I'll see you next time